amazing. Stop. Do a turn. Please oh do a turn. Oh, look at that booty. That booty. <laughs> oh. You look amazing. Yeah. 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 You're both here today because you're making a choice. You both are choosing each other. You're chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. I've had the privilege to see your relationship grow throughout the years. You show care and compassion. You trust one another. You make each other laugh. And most importantly, you're each other's best friend. Paul, well, it feels like not too long ago. I saw a cute guy that I recognized walking into 300 rods. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> I don't think we said anything more than a hello in passing, but I remember feeling like I needed to go out with you. <laughs> and while it was definitely fate that brought you to rent an apartment in the same building as me, you know I'm not one to leave things up to chance. Um, I just did what I could to make fate move a little faster from there. <laughs> As soon as I knew you had moved into the building, my outfits got way cuter. <laughs> I didn't leave my condo without a makeup check. And Eddie got walked about four more times each day in hopes of casually running into you in the lobby. <laughs> I knew there was something so special about you that I couldn't get my mind off of. So naturally, I went to my mom for advice. And being a mom, she had some extremely insightful words of wisdom that went something like this. We'll just text him. <laughs> <laughs> and so began our story, and never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that the gut feeling that day would turn into finding the greatest love I've ever known, and me standing in front of you up to become your wife. Right from the start, you've made me laugh. You know how to light up a room with your jokes, and you have this magic power of being able to make fun of people persistently with the only repercussion being that they end up loving you more, <laughs> which is so annoying, <laughs> but so captivating. Your love and support in everything I do is unmatched. You encourage me to chase my dreams, both in my career and in curling, assuring me that I can do anything I set my mind to. You've made it a priority to learn and understand my favorite sport, so you can support me more. Long hugs in the kitchen, quiet evenings in our backyard. I'm taking turns asking Eddie why he's so cute and perfect. <laughs> <laughs> They're just some of the moments I hold so close. I always look forward to coming home to you, but I promise that will never change. I admire you so much for chasing your passion. You are such a hard worker. I fell in love with you for so many reasons, but my favorite is your love for your people. Not only do you love and value your family so much, but your love and commitment for your entire community and your friends in it is something about you that amazes me every day. I truly didn't think I would find a love like this. And I'm so excited to be your wife and to build our life together. I'm the luckiest girl in the world to be able to hang out with my best friend for the rest of our days. And as we step into this next chapter today, I make these promises to you, knowing that they'll become, help us become stronger and accomplish anything we can dream of. I vow to work through all the obstacles we face as a team. I will lift you up when you're feeling down or discouraged, and I'll be a rock in the hard times as you are in mine. I will stand beside you as your equal in life and be there to share every emotion, accomplishment, and challenge. I vow to laugh with you every day, find the humor in life with you, and forever search for more ways to have fun and adventure with you. And lastly, Paul, I vow to love you. You're the man of my dreams and you're everything I ever wanted. And you have my whole heart. Well, babe. <laughs> the day has finally come. I couldn't be more confident standing here saying these vows. It's truly how I will forever feel. Some things come to mind when I was thinking about why you are the one for me. You have a kind heart, you understand my humor, but for some reason you laugh harder at your own jokes. <laughs> you are the perfect mix of child at heart and an old soul. You have the zest for going out and trying new food, going to concerts, and taking in sporting events, while also having the wisdom that some nights are just meant for staying in. 
sweating around your jammies, pouring yourself a cup of tea, and falling asleep by 9 o'clock. Everything is a competition. Everything. I admire this drive, always wanting to do something better the next time. I love your appreciation for the outdoors. Spending time with you in the stillness of the wilderness is the ultimate reset and recharge for us. While thinking of all the things I love about you, some quirks came to mind. Like when giving directions, how your left isn't always left, <laughs> but can also be right. I should know this, and I'm sorry. <laughs> or when I'm driving 80 kilometers an hour, you give me a 50-foot warning of when our next turn is, <laughs> while being three lanes over. <laughs> All of these things make you you. All of these things are why I will forever love you. With all my heart. I promise to keep telling you I love you as I'm out the door or before we hang up. I promise to keep making the bed every morning and to plug in your heated blanket for even or bed. This also saves me from the ice closing cousins. <laughs> I promise to stand by your side, not only to listen, but to hear you out. I promise to cherish you in your moments of success and to lift you in your moments of tribulation. I promise to be vulnerable in my times of weakness and to confide in you with all my feelings. I promise to respect, admire, and appreciate who you are and who you want to become. It's you and me, babe, forever and for always. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Pal, you may now kiss your bride. Yeah.